Hello there. So, welcome to next subtopic which will be refraction at spherical surface. Okay. So, for this subtopic, okay, you should be able to use the equation okay, where n1 over u plus n2 over v okay, which will be equivalent to n2 minus n1 over r for spherical surface. Okay, where n1 represents the first refractive index medium okay, object distance and n2 will be the second refractive index of the medium. Okay, so, this one later we go through as we discuss the example. Okay. And then use the sign convention for radius, okay, where we will have R positive, okay, for convex surface and R will be negative uh, for a concave surface. Okay, uh, so for another equation that we will be using over here will be the equation of magnification, okay, which will be the ratio of height of image over height of object, okay, which also will be equivalent to negative N1 times v image distance over n2 times u object distance okay and then for the sign convention okay so this one you can go through later okay one by one okay so straight away we will look into example 7.5 over here okay so for example 7.5 okay you have a cylindrical glass rod okay in air okay which has a refractive index of 1.52 okay so this will be the refractive index of the glass rod okay one end is ground to a hemisphere surface okay radius given as 3.0 centimeter okay as shown in figure so over here they wanted to calculate the position of the image okay for a small object on the axis of the rod okay 10 cm to the left okay, of the pole as shown in figure okay, and then B they wanted to calculate the linear magnification. Okay, so assume that the refractive index of air which will be equivalent to 1. Okay. So now over here this is your object over here. So the light ray will be traveling from air to glass. Okay. Uh, so that means this one will be your N1, okay, N1 and this one will be your N2, okay. So, the refractive index, we follow the path, lah, okay. So, traveling from A, N1 over here and then moves into glass. So, this one will be N2. Okay, now if you are going to replace in the equation, okay. So, first we have air which will be N1, okay, second we have glass which will be N2 lah, over here, okay, so object distance known, image distance unknown, okay, and then for the radius, okay, R, okay, if we refer back to the previous, okay, since we have a convex surface, okay, so the ray traveling from over here, okay, so the surface over here will be convex, okay, so therefore R will be positive lah, over here okay so replacing the value okay a1 okay object distance given as 10 okay into the glass okay refractive index 1.52 and then radius is 3 okay solve the problem to determine the value of v okay so which will end up with 20.7 centimeter okay positive v so that means you will have an uh, real image formed lah, over here okay so for the magnification okay real image we should be formed at the back of the surface okay so for the magnification use the equation of magnification okay so replace in so which will end up with negative 1.36 okay so negative value over here indicates that means you have an inverted image lah, okay magnified inverted image okay so for next example okay so this one we have figure 7.12 shows an object placed at a distance 20 cm from the surface of p okay glass hemisphere where you have radius of 5 centimeter 
So we have radius here 5 cm, object distance, okay, object place 20 from the surface, okay, and refractive index of the glass is given as 1.63. Okay, they want to determine position of the image formed by the surface P of the glass sphere. Okay, and then B, the position of the final image. Okay, so this one we will do it part by part. Lah. Okay, analyze it part by part. Okay, now for the first situation, your object is in front of the, the surface P over here. Okay, so that means light will be traveling. Okay, we look at the diagram. Lah. Okay, from the object to the surface. Okay, so this will be the object distance, which will be 20. Okay, and then you have the radius over here. Okay, since the light ray is traveling, when it's traveling, it will meet this surface over here. Okay, so this surface will be a convex surface. So convex surface, that means you will end up with positive value of R. Okay, R will be positive. Okay, so this will be the first medium N1 and then this will be the second medium N2. Okay, so where we end up with V which is equivalent to 21.5. Okay, so that means to positive value 21.5 cm at the back of the surface. So that means your V or the image will be formed 21.5 cm over here from the surface. Okay, surface 21.5. Okay, now we have done for the first surface for question A. Okay, and for question B for the second surface. Okay, okay we redraw again. Okay, alright. So, this will be the second surface over here. Okay, so the image formed, the first image formed will be the object of the second surface okay since the object is behind the ray part traveling okay so actually the ray is traveling from here right from outer into the surface and then out of the surface since the object is outside or behind so that means you will have an virtual object okay and then the object distance we need to calculate from the surface over here so previously we have obtained the value of the image distance 21.5 okay from the first surface so minus with the diameter so diameter which will be 10 so you will end up with 11.5 so this will be the object distance okay now for the second surface the light ray will traveling from glass to air okay so that means this one will be n1 and then this one will be n2 okay so if we now replace in Okay, which will end up with, okay, and then the R will be negative value because the ray path over here traveling, okay, through an concave surface over here, okay, so this part over here will be concave, so that means you will end up with a negative value of R, okay, so over here, so since now the light ray is traveling from glass, okay, and one will be glass, U, object distance, okay, to A and 2 will be become A. So glass 1.63, okay. Object distance since it is virtual, okay. So that means you will end up with a negative value and R will be negative because the radius will become as concave. So you will end up with a negative value. So replace in, then final answer we will get 3.74, okay. So, positive value that means you have a real image at the back of the surface. Okay. It is behind the surface. Lah. Okay. Positive value that means you have a real image which is located at the back of the surface. Okay. So, for spherical surface, we only have two examples. Okay. So, go through with this two. Lah. Okay. All right.